If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in video where you can see how to create basic alarm logging. For example, in this example we use the logging to the Excel file. <coughs> okay, uh, we use the PLC 1215 and the HMI runtime application. First we create some function block, for example with name alarm. In this function block we define the static variable alarms of the data type word. word. Save the project. And in this function block we create two networks. In first network we activate the alarm number one and in the second network we activate the alarm number two. For activating we use two markers for example first marker will be m20.1 and second will be m20.0 <coughs> if we set the first marker then we activate respectively set the first bit of the alarms world and if we activate the marker m20.0 we activate the second bit in the alarms world okay now we can drag and drop this function block to the main organization block and create the instance data block for this function block after this we can download the changes to the PLC okay click on the button load wait some time okay now we can go online now we can see everything is okay now we can go <coughs> make the functionality of the logging to the WinCC runtime application. First we insert some alarm view to see the states of the alarms on the runtime and also we use only to see pending alarms. Uh, this is why we uncheck the unacknowledged alarms in the displays options of the alarm view okay and now we also insert the cycle object which indicates if we have the communication between the PLC and our WinCC runtime application if communication is okay then this object will be blink on the red on the green color okay now we save the project and also we define the tag for example with name alarms world and we connect this tag to the plc tag which is situated in the our alarms data block okay for this we use the connection to the arms variable and also we change the acquisition cycle to 100 millisecond after this we can define these two alarms in the HMI alarms options okay we create two discrete alarms for example alarm number one will be will have the alarm text this is alarm one and second will have the text this is alarm two as the trigger tags for these alarms we use these two bits which we activate in the PLC program okay 
we use created HMI tech alarms world same for the second alarm but the first alarm will have the trigger first bit and the second alarm will have the trigger second bit of this alarm world Okay, we use the errors alarm classes for our created discrete alarms. <coughs> now we go to the historical data option and in alarm logs window we create new alarm log with the name alarm log. We use 500 numbers of the data records. Uh, as the storage location we use Excel file we change the page where we want to save this alarm lock to the alarm locks folder and also we need to lock event text and error loca location by the checking the checkbox and we use circular lock for these alarms Okay, we save the changes and now we can define the lock file for our alarm classes. We use created historical data alarm lock with name alarm lock. Okay, we save the changes again. Now we can see errors alarm class which we use as the class for the our discrete alarms. Okay, now we can start the runtime application in our computer and check if everything works fine. Now we can see our live bit indicator blinking. This means we have the communication with PLC. Okay, for example, we activate alarm number one and alarm number two. How we can see? We can see it in the our alarm view. Now, for example, we deact deactivate alarm number two okay now we see only alarm number one in the alarm view and now we deactivate alarm number one and again activate alarm number two okay we can see it in the alarm view and now we can go check if we have created alarm lock Okay, how we can see in our patch, which we define in historical data option, we have the alarm lock. How we can see the name of alarm lock, which we defined, is same like in our folder, and the patch is also same how we define it in the alarm locks settings. Okay, now we can click on the alarm lock Excel file and check what is inside okay how we can see application write the states of our alarms to this excel file We have a message text, time string, message number, message class, and state after, and also PLC connection. Okay, in this corner we have uh, when the change of the alarm, the time of the change of the alarm, also in message number we have. Okay, we go to the HMI alarms to see this message number mean what is the ID of the activated alarm okay this is the message text of the alarm 
as you can see is the alarm text this is the time string when the alarm occurs and this is the name of the connection between PLC and runtime application this is the message class this is the ID of the alarm class of our alarm for example in this we use error and how you can see ID is number one of this class and the uh, number of class of these alarms is also one this is state after means if we have number one in state after this means in this time the alarm alarm was activated and when it's zero this means alarm was deactivated okay how we see the logging of the arms works fine and this is all for this video thank you for watching and goodbye